Hey out there, all you viewers to be named later. How we doing today? I know, you can tell by that big old green box with the white lettering. We're going to take a look at something by CRKT. And that is the Allen Foltz Fox. Now, it is misspelled on the packaging for some reason. I don't know why. <clears throat> Alright, now I found out about this guy when I got an email from CRKT. What they did was, I think, kind of cool. I don't know if you can see right there. They made um, a small batch design on these. All right, I should say small batch run. Which basically means they had a limited number. Once they're gone, they're gone. So I got this really cool email about how Alan Fultz was kicking around some stuff in his shop when he was um, cleaning things up. And he didn't want to waste anything and came up with this design. So I thought that was really neat to have that email. I went... All right, limited run. I really like Alan. I like what he does. Let's go buy it. Now, I know you got some Harry Potter heads out there. Yes, this is named after the Phoenix in Harry Potter. So I thought that was kind of interesting to take that approach. So the overall look, the fit and finish, I kind of like. Um, I do like, like the stacked G10 layers here. We'll get to that in a moment. I like the orange on the black. I did like the fuller that they put in here. Please don't call it a blood groove. It's not. It's just a fuller. And I like some of the other stuff they have with it. Now, usually with CRKT, you get some what I love to call propaganda in the box. So for this one, they want you to take a look at the Chance in Hell Machete. And because it's got an assisted opener, they gave you a little bit of their info on it. But we're going to get into all that here in just a moment. Now, like I said, Alan Foltz design, really cool. Makes a lot of great neck knives. Makes a lot of cool other blades. I brought a bunch of his stuff to the channel before. So, you know, he is one of my favorite designers. But all right, let's get into the stats, the figures, and everything else like we usually do. It's got an overall length of about 6.5 inches. The blade's about 2.74. Enclosed, it's about 3.74. Now, you know, if I was smarter, I probably would have put this on a kitchen scale, but I forgot to write down the ounces. So if I remember, you should be seeing something right along down here about how much it weighs. My bad, guys. We do have a plain edge with a flat grind, bead blast finish, and yes, it is D2 steel. Now, did they put that on there anywhere? No, but okay. It does have the Ken Onion patented assisted opening. Now, I will say I'm probably going to have to break it apart and play with it a little. Because, honestly, I, maybe it's got to break in a little better. Because that's the smoothest it has opened since I've had it. Normally, i got to fight it a little bit. But still. It does have the benefit of the IKBS system to reduce all that wear, tear, and everything else on that pivot area. So I think that's really freaking awesome. Now, like I said, you've got multi-layered G10 scales, all right, orange and black rotating. What I le wish they would have done, because it feels really, really smooth and slippery in my hand at times, is maybe textured that a little bit more. I mean, it, it looks beautiful as is, but I just feel that getting it a little bit wet, I'm not going to have that grippiness on there. We do have a stainless steel frame with a liner lock. I did like the orange backspacer that goes the whole length through here. I thought that was a great little addition lanyard hole and you can carry this left hand right hand carry tip up only as you can see by you can just swap that clip and yes it is made in taiwan all right let's do those cut tests that we love to do here on the channel we usually only do three why am i about to do these three take a look right up there there's gonna be a card for why well, do these cut tests all right as we usually start with and you know keep that backdrop there don't go anywhere heavy duty stock paper Ooh, okay. Now, see when I'm starting that cut? Do you see what's happening? So I don't know if this paper has been sitting around for a while, but I did like how that one kind of started as a curly cue. But speaking of curly cues, let's see if we can get one. Ah, I started off good. I started off good, then I ended up like Bill Rivers. Oh, was that out loud there, Bill? <laughs> Okay, big reason why I like to try and get the curly cues is anybody can just come along and go whoosh, sharp. But if you drag that blade along at the same consistent angle and go slow. Okay, seriously, I make fun of Bill Rivers and the camera shuts down. Bill, what did you do to my camera? But still, like I said, there is some snowfall there on the blade because we usually check for that. So I'm probably going to have to strop that out a little bit. All right, 
I'm calling this test the River's Revenge. That's right, Paracore. All right, pull. A little bit more than I wanted to, but not a bad cut. All right, let's go to the slice. Not bad. And, you know, our buddy Mr. Ratchet Strap. Let's see what we can do to him today, right? Mm, not too bad. All right, let's take a look at the blade like we usually do. Really don't see anything out of the ordinary on there. So, okay. Now, I did all the homework and all the fun stuff on this guy on November 21st, 2021. Currently filming this on November 22nd, 2021. The only place you can find this is on CRKT. It's $89.99, and it hasn't been reviewed yet. But with that fun stuff being said, I want to know your questions, comments, love, hatred, anger, all that fun stuff right down below. Do you think this one is a nice or an F-bomb? Nice or an F-bomb? I'll be honest, I got it. I carried it a couple times. One of my bigger complaints was with the pocket clip here, I usually seem to somehow lose my blade in my shorts. God, that sounds so bad. But the blade seems to come free, if that makes sense. It just, there wasn't great retention that day, or two or three or four. But still, I got it for the collectible value. I really love Alan Fultz designs. The fact that it's a small batch run, cool, you know? But with that being said, if I made you laugh, made you cry, made you cringe, made you do anything, please hit that big old thumbs up. It's only going to help trigger that algorithm and get this wonderful channel out there to some more wonderful people so they can enjoy my insanity. <sighs> oh, I really hate seasonal allergies. But all right, so for you first-time viewers on my channel, I just want to say, hey, thank you so much for viewing this video. Look, I know we do things really, really differently here on this channel, and I'm very, very grateful for that viewing time that you gave me today. Now, for you first-time viewers and you long-time viewers who have yet to subscribe, well, my question's why. What can I do to earn your subscription? Please leave me a comment right down below, and let's see how we can implement that into a future video. Now, with all that fun stuff being said, in just a couple moments, take a look right down there. You're going to see a big channel symbol popping up. Go ahead, click on that thing. I made it one-click easy access for you to get to subscribe. After you knock it out the way, please destroy the little bell icon that's right next to it. Why? That will let YouTube notify you every single time this channel uploads a brand new video. Now, speaking of those videos that we love so much out there on YouTube, two will be popping up right over here in about a moment or two. Those are going to be videos that YouTube is going to select from my current catalog that they feel is going to be a great viewing experience for you. But there we go, guys. My quick tabletop look at the CRKT Fox. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope all of you are having a safe day, a great day, and I'll see all of you in our very next video.